welcome to Math with Niall. Today we're going to be doing quarter turns. Hi Niall, and what do you have on the board behind you? I have some cardinal directions. I have some quarter fractions that make up one whole. And I have a big arrow that I'm going to be uh, moving around. Okay, good. Now Niall, can you do me a favour and can you put that arrow facing north? Facing north. So north because of our directions, cardinal directions. North is facing up. Okay, good. Very good. Now, do you remember which direction is clockwise? If you face the board, can you use your hands to show us which direction is clockwise? It's this way. Oh, very good. So can you make can you make that arrow? turn quarter turn clockwise okay very good now can you remove the, the one of the quarters so we can see the turn so can you line out the quarter turn with your fingers from that from where you've removed okay very good and then here it is um, without doing that. Okay, good. So you've just moved that arrow quarter turn clockwise. Yeah. Can you move it two quarters turn anti-clockwise? What are you going to do now? One quarter turn anti-clockwise. Two quarters turn anti-clockwise. Very good. So you're turning it in the opposite direction. Yeah. Okay. What about can you turn it three quarters turn clockwise? Three quarters turn clockwise. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter. And it is pointing to south. Very good. I was just about to ask you that. It is pointing south. So can you tell me what turn would you make, would you need to make, if you can use quarter turns to describe, what turn would you need to make for your arrow to be pointing north? You would need to do two quarters clockwise or um, anti-clockwise. Very good. So can you show us either one would be fine? This is clockwise. Two quarters So that's clockwise. clockwise. Yes. And this is anti-clockwise. Very good, Niall. Excellent. And can you remove a fraction to show us two quarters? Yes. And two quarters is equal to what? Um, one half. One half. Excellent, Niall. Can you put the arrow facing northwest? Northwest. About here? Yeah, about there. Looks good. And what if you move the arrow quarter turn clockwise? Quarter turn clockwise. Okay. That's not clockwise. Oh. Quarter turn clockwise. And now it's pointing to northeast. Very good, night. Not Can exactly. You... Almost, it looks good. Can you go to the diagram with your northwest and northeast, and can you use your finger to trace out that quarter turn that you've made? So point at northwest up on your North. diagram. Northwest. West. That's northeast. Northwest. Right, and come down to the middle following that line. No, follow the line coming down. Yes, and then across to northeast. Up. Good. So that's your quarter turn. So let's leave it on northeast and go over to your arrow and can you make two quarters turn clockwise? Two quarter turn clockwise. And tell us when you count the first quarter. One quarter. One quarter there? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then? Two quarters. Two quarters. So two quarters turn is the same as what? 
and half, a half turn. turn. Okay, can you go to the diagram again and point at northeast and show us that you've come down to south west? Good, so that's your. Ooh. You see that? Mm -hmm. I want you to put back the fractions, make one hole. Very good. Now, can you remove one quarter for me? So can you stand to the side a bit? Yeah. Okay, can you put that one back and remove the one at the top? It doesn't matter, but it just... Good. So how many quarters did you have together now when it was one hole? Four quarters. And how many have you removed? One. One quarter. So can you trace out again the angle that is formed when you remove that? So the quarter two. Four. Four. You... Four. Very good. Now... Do you know the size of that angle? Mm -hmm. What do we measure it in? What unit do we use to measure Degrees. It? Degrees. Now, do you know the size of an angle that is quarter to? 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Very good. So, can you put your arrow to face west? West. Okay. That was a 90 Bring degrees Bring it down turn. a bit. Bring it down a bit. Now, can you rotate it 90 degrees clockwise? That's not clockwise. Very good. What direction is it facing? North. Good. So you can say 90 degrees or you can say quarter turn. Mm -hmm. So can you rotate it 90 degrees clockwise again? Very good. Can you straighten it a bit? Bring it down a bit. Very good. Now, I have a question for you. If 90 degrees is one quarter turn, how would you work out how many degrees in two quarter turns? Um, how would I work it out? So you would do double six and then... One quarter turn is 90 degrees. What are you going to do to work out one two quarter turns which oh. is the same as one half tell me the method before you calculate it like what do you need to double do 90. you need to double 90 very good do you know what double 90 is can you come from 90 on your fingers and add 90 more put the fraction down so 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. So, how much is it? 180. 180 degrees is the same as two quarters or one half. Welcome to the quarter turn game. And Frankie, my dog, will be helping. Okay, so face the face the wall. Let's see how many you can do correctly. This is going to be fast. So, quarter turn clockwise. So face straight. Okay, go in the middle of the board a bit. Go back a bit. Good. So that was the warm up. You ready? Mm -hmm. Quarter turn anti clockwise. <laughs> Quarter turn clockwise. Half turn anti clockwise. Quarter turn clockwise. <laughs> 90 degrees anti clockwise. <laughs> One hundred and eighty degrees anti clockwise. <laughs> Quarter turn clockwise. Quarter turn clockwise. <laughs> enjoyed the lesson and if you did subscribe now bye see you next time